My encounter took place many years ago, I think 1998. I never had the faintest explanation for it until a couple months ago when I randomly stumbled across Dogman on the internet. I was in my early 20s, working swing shifts at the time and commuting about 100 miles each way. So it was usually around two in the morning by the time I got home. I saw the monster, as I called it, on the northernmost section of Trunk Road in the Matanuska Valley in, in Alaska. Well, this area is roughly smack in between the towns of Palmer and Wasila. I was only about 10 miles from home at that point, so it must have been a Around 2 a.m., Trunk Road is a narrow two-lane road consisting of nothing but twists and turns. The surrounding terrain is somewhat swampy and thick with black spruce. It was late October, days before Halloween. There was no snow on the ground, but it was cold enough to be wary of ice. Now, I was driving an 82 Subaru southwest going about 20 miles per hour around a curve when my headlights caught a large dark figure up ahead. Now I'm bad at judging distance, maybe six car lengths away. I instinctively let off the gas coasting closer. At first I assumed it was a moose as the area is infested with them. But no, it was standing upright. Bear then, no, not a bear. It looks so strange, tall enough to be an uncommonly large bear, but far too slender. And it looked like it had spikes running down its neck and back. A Halloween prop? An odd and effective place for one. Now all those thoughts ran through my head in a fraction of a second. The car was still coasting closer and I could see more details. It was standing in profile, gazing across the road. I could clearly see its wolfish muzzle large upright ears and the spikes on his back were in fact clumps of fur. Its spine curved in a smooth, very natural looking way. It was standing in a ditch inches from the pavement. Because I was focused on his upper body, I do not recall anything about his back legs or if it had a tail. But I did see its front legs though, very doggy looking, hanging awkwardly down and slightly toward its front, exactly as you'd expect if a dog stood upright. While it clearly had a canine look, there was still something off about it that I cannot articulate. Now it was perfectly still at that point. And given the proximity to Halloween, I was quite convinced it was some sort of Halloween prop because it was clearly not any kind of existing animal. I was deeply impressed and gently stepped on the brake, intending to stop and examine it closely. Then it turned its head towards me and in the tiny fraction of a second that it took to swivel its head, I knew I had made a terrible mistake. The fluidness of its movement removed any and all doubt that this was some kind of prop. It was horribly, terrifyingly alive. The pale, off-white glow of its eye shine in the headlights destroyed any possibility of a human in a costume. I think I sat there gaping at it in shock for a few seconds. The car barely moving by now, but still inching closer. 
as I was almost upon it. I think it could have leaned forward and touched the car if it had wanted. I had to look up at its face. Now again, I'm a bad judge of such things, but I, I'm five foot four. It was a hell of a lot taller than me. Tall like a polar bear standing. Seven feet? Eight? I really can't say. Well, I snapped out of my trance and slammed on the gas. The car fishtailed and I prepared myself for death by monster. As I was certain I'd end up in that ditch. But luckily the tires caught the pavement and I drove like a complete maniac all the way home. And I did not look back. I've been on that section of the road a few times since. Never alone and never in the dark. For the next several years of driving that commute, I went 20 miles out of the way to avoid Trunk Road. The thing never made any aggressive moves, but there was something about it that I felt very, uh, I don't know, predatory. I never saw anything remotely like it again, and never heard any stories about it in the area. <laughs>